It's good to see you again. And you. And, mm. <laughs> and I do that because of your character. Thanks. <laughs> Not you, you're fantastic. You both are great. Uh, what a fascinating story. Yes. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't read a lot. So I didn't really know, but now I wanna know everything I can about Colette. Yeah. What intrigued you both about this story the most? I mean, I just read the script and went, whoa, she's cool. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, I, I sort of, I had read two of her books, so I knew that, but I didn't know anything about her life. And I didn't know anything about the, the, her first marriage and the fact that her husband took credit for her first four novels. Um, so I was just fascinated with the couple, you know, and, and fascinated with the story of this woman that, that kind of um, finds her own voice and steps out of the shadow of this kind of, this, this huge character and, and um, cuts a hole in the world for herself. And it was very inspiring. You know, even though it happened 100 years ago, it's still relevant, I think, to today. Um, your thoughts on that, Dominic? Well, Willie was a um, uh, really understood branding and fame and, and using your own life as a, uh, a way of gaining notoriety, of, of sort of cannibalizing your experiences and your, your ups and your downs to, to, get in, to, to get interest and to get people talking about you and to sell things. He tried to, I mean, he sold books, but he sold soap and talcum powder, he sold everything. He was a, a, a big marketing guy. And, and in that way, he was a sort of a, um, social media influencer of his time. And he'd have loved social media. And, um, and I think that's one of the areas uh, that makes this such a contemporary film. Another one is the sexual politics. Which I oh, find, stop. which I can't talk about anymore. <laughs> hey man, you know what? <laughs> a lot of that going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so, no, I mean, I think you know the, the the conversation around sexual politics, around gender identity, and and around feminism, and and that's sort of what this film is about, you know. And 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 I think when I read it, I was like, whoa, this is funny. This feels like the conversations that we're still having today. Um, so I think it, you know, it does feel very current um, for those reasons. But also, like, like you said, you know, they, they are, you think of these sort of celebrity couples as a sort of a modern phenomenon, and you find out that actually it's not at all, and it's been going on for at least 100 years, probably more than that. Final question for you both today. If you could talk to your characters, I know what I would say to him. What? <laughs> I keep blaming you. I'm sorry, it's not really him, but you, you did such a great job what of this What would you guy. say? I'd punch him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'd go, no. come on, guy. Yeah. But yeah he, he was so oh, just <laughs> awful. He would have felt it. He would have been drunk. Fat. No, okay, but the, <laughs> the question for you both, if you could talk to your characters today, what would you say? Oh God, I'd be terrified. She's so, you know, I mean, she's amazing. She's like this powerhouse. Um, no, I mean, you know, you just go, go on, <laughs> cool. I'd give her a big hug. I, I mean, her. same, like, yeah. yeah, go on, girl. I'd say, where are we having lunch? I think he'd be a great guy to have lunch with. Yeah, I think you're right. He was fun, you know, he was fun for awesome. all his faults. <laughs>